Hey everyone, welcome to Undead World Hero Survival. Today we'll be talking about um, Novice Arena PvP. So for those of you who are not familiar with it yet, so we're going to take a look at Novice Arena, particularly in Group 11 of where I am. So the data right now that I have for the best heroes for Novice Arena is going to be limited to Group 11 and also to the top 50 that have placed in uh, in group 11 so this is just a guide guys on probably developing your heroes moving forward which are you know which ideally are you going to bring who they are and how popular they are here in group 11 so i actually was able to extract data using the data for each player that um um brought specific specific uh heroes and also the formations that they had okay so let's gonna let's start with you know um let's do some matches here while i discuss the top heroes let's, let's look for something manageable okay so first and foremost your heroes the top heroes for our server or our group is um, on your right. As you can see, in terms of the top 50, these are the usage. So let's say, for example, Murray is actually in the top at 40. So what that means is out of the 50 teams, 40 used Murray. That is why he is high on the usage. Then you have Brittany second at 30, Lita 22, Gabriel 22, Connor 19, Lee at 15, Gabriel at 12, Meredith at 12, Tanya at 10, and Astra at 10. So these are your top heroes. Consider investing in them and also consider, you know, um, putting them together. Top tanks would be, as you can see here, you have Gabriel and you have Connor. So at least it provides you a guide on what to, in, what to invest in terms of tanks. As for you know um, team compositions, there there were not there was not really a outlier in terms of a dominant team composition. But I'm giving you the, the the option to build your team around these. Just consider building them around Murray, Brittany, and Lita. That's it. Because again, they, they are their usage is actually very high, especially Murray and Brittany. Um, that you cannot get away with PvP without them. So again, this is the top 10 and this is the bottom. So you have Tyler, Rock, Webster and the top top three of the bottom. Okay, so as you can see, there is limited use for Cookie, Bella and Kieran, Henry, Caddy, Nadim, even Jones is limited. So Sam is even in, the, in, in PvP, Helen... And I was actually surprisingly happy that Lee is actually in the top 10 at 15. So Lee is really important in PvP. Who else is um is gonna the rest is actually expected. Astra, I was not expecting to be in the bottom of the, of the top 10. But again, he's still in the top 10, so at least it's okay. So let's proceed, guys. Let's do this battle and let's go to the formations that are topping, um, topping PvP or Novice Arena. So you have balanced. Balanced is actually. Um, I'll show you guys what is balanced later. So top five are balanced, suppressing fire, zigzag, Z formation, precision and break, and spearhead. So if you want to just take the top, that's Z formation, zigzag, suppressing fire, and balance. So that is, you know, what you should concentrate on. Let's, um, after this match, I'm going to show you how, how they look. <laughs> I'm defeated there. So anyway, let's go to the formations, guys. For the formations in Novice Arena in my, in my group... So top one formation is going to be balanced. Obvious because um, it's usually re readily available. You don't have to unlock anything. And it's dependable in terms of structure. It's Again, it's balanced. That is why a lot of people are using it with success. Next is going to be suppressing fire. Suppressing fire is this, um, is this one. This 
formation is focused on evasion. So if you have a lot of heroes at the back with uh, high evasion or in terms of um, in terms of survivability you want to push for evasion then you use suppressing fire because in the middle there's only one um, the middle formation is going to be HP and attack power so this one is better for more evasive formations next is going to be zigzag which what one of I think the formations that I really really like because there are three in the middle which um has um, hp and attack power so uh, this formation is taking advantage of your hp and attack power um for me moving forward this is i think what you guys should build around in terms of formation and the other three are either uh, precision where's precision precision here oh so it's you should have you know you should unlock it but again it's uh, the up just the opposite of suppressing fire then for break you have this one this one is more of a clustered at the back with support or probably range then you have two tanks in the front then you have one in the middle this is your break and the other the last one is going to be spearhead which is actually basic we get this at the start so one tank two in the middle and two at the back so in a, 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 a inverted v formation okay guys so that is it so again just gonna flash this here um for your reference again these are just guides in terms of which hero are you going to focus on build and probably level up or tear up so at least you have you know something to follow Again, if you build a different direction in, in terms of uh, in terms of PvP team, be my guest. But again, these are just recommendations based on what is happening in our group, based on who is really played uh, most of the time, and also based on you know the the, the efficiency of a certain hero uh, in in PvP, particular in in Novice Arena. In terms of the rumble, um, again, you just have to expand from this list. Some of them you are actually using again, most of them in the rumble. So again, focus on the top 10. They are actually very, very good already in rumble. You can just build around them um, and add from the bottom. Like here, Tyler, Rock, Webster, Helen, uh, Sam, some of them, even Nadim is actually playable in your rumble because of the heals. And that's it. So again, hopefully the, this um, this uh, novice arena guide helps you guys and uh, in building a team moving forward. And hopefully I'll see you in the next video. Okay, so those who have stuck this far, um, thank you very much. And please do consider subscribing because this helps my channel a lot and also don't forget to click that bell icon and put a like to this video thank you guys take take care stay safe this is the warden and i'm out of here